Okay, welcome back guys to Let's Play Honey Pop. We, last episode we got Momo with our special guest, who is still here. Hi, I haven't left. I can't get her to leave. It's so comfy here. So she's going to be joining us as we go after our next girl, which, you know, who do you think we should go after next? I say we go after God herself. We can't do that just yet. Damn. Um, who do you got left, Lola? Jess. Let's take care of Jesse. Jesse? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. What? What am I doing? The thing is, though, we have to go to Jesse at night. Dang it. I keep forgetting that. At night? Yes, at night. I mean... Oh my god. Come Why do you wear this in the daytime? She wants a hug. I'll give you a hug, all right. Nobody wants to buy me a drink. Oh, gee. I wonder if I should buy. You. Hey, bag of goldfish. We can unlock Momo again. Yay! For a third time. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Dad, I'm like super younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> She's 36. She's a cougar. <laughs> I'm only 23. How am I? How that's just... Sensei's gonna get him some. Uh, buy him some cardio weights. Uh, gingerbread so man. You like the older ladies? Don't you start. What? It's a, ge it's a genuine question. I'm sure your fans would like to know. Not what kind of girl Sensei's into? Not... Not... I wouldn't say that old, because it's not so much like, like, ew, old, but it's like, one of those things, just like, I would like to have someone that's closer to my age. And it goes, <laughs> it goes both ways. I wouldn't want someone that's way older than me, but at the same time, I don't, wouldn't want someone that's way younger than me. Ah, okay. So you like to be on the equal age thing? Yes. Okay. That's, okay. That, that's my it, preference. Be fun. I'm going to literally question you on your type so that all your fans will know and then all of them will throw themselves at you. You know my type, though. It, it changes depending on the questions. You never know. You, you might find something that you like with when you think about it. That's why we're asking. This is going to be a nice little segment called Sensei's Type. I'm going to ask about it. Okay. There's the video so, title. You have to ask, okay. you have to answer so, completely honestly. You. you cannot I lie. I will know that you're door. lying. I can sense it. Kitty senses can do this. So are you ready? All right. Okay, so we already know the age thing. You would like somebody who is not too old and not too young, around the same age as you, mm. which means that the limit probably is like maybe 25 and the youngest they could be is probably 21. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so that's pretty okay. So, Alright, so what about hair color? Have to write out some invitations. I don't think there's really much of a preference on hair color considering yours went from like flaming purple and such. From what, what was it, like blue before too or something? Uh, I believe I've had red, blue, green, well, well, while I've met, While I've known you though. Blue, red, and purple. Yeah. So I doubt I doubt hair, hair color would be. Well, I mean, what is your preference of natural hair color? Brunette, blonde. I don't think I really have a preference, you know. Okay, no preference. Do you like short hair or long hair on girls? Um, I don't think that I really have a preference for that either. Okay. What about eye color? Like. Again, that's like basic stuff. That's just like stuff I'm not really looking at, you know? That I don't really care about. Okay. Uh, last physical uh, question. Body type. I'm at the bar most nights. Um, I guess that's gotta be one of those kind of same middle ground type of things, you know? So you want somebody that's of average weight or like average body type? Yeah, kind of average or fit, you know? Just, I don't... 
It's kind of, it's kind of like a bunch of different ways. Like, I don't want someone that's real, real skinny, that, to the point where they look like they're anorexic or something. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want someone that's, like, 100% muscle, you know? Uh-huh. Someone, someone like that. And then I don't want someone that's, like, you know, really obese to the point where it looks unhealthy, you know? I guess, yeah. So, again, like, a middle ground is kind of the best place, really. So you really are, like, on the Nikki grounds of things. I guess so. Because she's of average body type, and she's got, you know, short hair, blue color, eyes are of blue. Almost all of these characters have blue eyes. No, honey. I had to drop out of high school to care for my daughter. Okay, so do you prefer them employed or unemployed? Um... I mean, if it, it doesn't hurt if they're employed, I mean, you know. I mean, if they if they want to work, that's their own thing, I guess. Like, if they want to work, they can work. I'm not gonna stop so, them. Are you supporting them if they're not employed? Yeah, I would support them. I mean, I would have to. This isn't something like I'm gonna go into like a a relationship and then automatically say like, oh yeah, I'm gonna support you all the way. It'd be like, no, this has gotta be like a long relationship type of deal where. It's like long into the relationship that they may all of a sudden need the support and I'll help them out. You know? Okay, so you need like time to evaluate the situation before you start jumping well, in. Well, not just that. It's, it's gotta be, I gotta build the relationship with them. Mm hmm. I will. It's the least I can do. So it's sure. not, it's not okay. like something okay. like, you know, after the first date, all of a sudden it's like, hey, I'm late on my rent. Can you help out? No. Totally understandable. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so would you care if the person that you're dating was like, does Jesse's work? That like, would that would that worry you in a sense of the fact that you know she's constantly with other guys for her job? Yeah, that that would be like a kind of a deal breaker for me, honestly. Would it? Yeah, that's just that's just that's more of a kind of you know I'm not gonna I'm not. It's not one of those things like, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to say like, oh, you know, you need to quit doing that kind of thing. But as far as being in a relationship with someone like that, I, I don't think I could do that. Hmm. Like, would you be like super paranoid all the time? Uh, exactly. It'd be... You know me, I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I want you all to myself. <laughs> I don't want you to be sharing with no cameras. I love this. Nobody, nobody. Isn't she not? But I thought she's not even like just doing camera. She's like, you know, she's like she's full on TV. porn star. Yeah, she's TV and and video and stuff like that. So she, I mean, she's so she's doing it with other guys. Yeah, a ton and probably girls too. And not just like one on one, probably multiple. Yeah, exactly. So that's. That's definitely. She's probably done things you've never even heard of. <laughs> Dude, not gonna lie, she's probably wrecked down there. I've, I've got to change out the stuff down here, the date gifts. Her least favorite is romance. So, and I got two and things for romance. You have. I got two things for romance. Ugh. Least use it to my advantage, I guess. The thing is, like, she's all about the physical. Yeah. So hot. She's all about the physical. She has no care for like the emotional stuff. Yeah. So I suppose even if it turned out like you were messing with her, it wouldn't bother her. It'd probably be just another day on the job. I think there's even a question for her where she's like, "Do you mind your yeah. if your partner had like multiple partners?" And mm -hmm. the answer is like, you know, what they do is their business, essentially. What, what they do is their business just the same as hers, because that's pretty much what she does for a living. Exactly. Okay, uh, another question. Yeah. Does the girl that you're with have to be an animal lover or no? Um... All these questions is kind of one of those things where you can just answer simply by saying like, they gotta be like on the middle ground. 
Cause... Well, I mean, it, it has to be one or the other for this question because it's either they're okay with having animals or they don't like them at all. Okay, then they're yeah. Really okay, then yeah. They, yeah, they can. They have to be okay with animals just because you know I don't want someone that's kind of like oh I hate animals completely to the point where you know they're kind of psycho about it or something. Well, yeah, it's more like uh, the fact of like it it. This question negates if the person has allergies, but they love animals. That's not what I mean. What I mean is literally if you are, like, you're dating the girl or something and you have a pet and they will not come see you because they don't like them. Yeah. That's, that sort of thing. That's something that I wouldn't, like, no. Okay, so how about this? How would you feel about dating a girl that already has a pre-existing family? As in kids? Yeah. That would be t tough. Would it? Why? Because it's it's one of those things. It's not so much you, whether you like the kid. It's whether mm -hmm. it it becomes whether the kid likes you. Yeah. You know. That's true. Mm -hmm. So it's, so it's not. That's the where it definitely kind of comes in. Where it's not it's not so much you're trying to. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, it's not where you're 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 not trying to get in on something that's already started because Why did some of these girls <laughs> dropped out of high school? Come on. High school's hard, man. <laughs> I graduated, but dude, it's hard. Um What was I saying? Hey, I helped um, you graduate. You did. Thank you. If it wasn't for your amazing math tutoring skills. <laughs> That lasted for like two months. <laughs> but hey, you were my tutor for two months. <laughs> and that's all you needed. <laughs> Was it? I swear to god, I still suck at math. You passed, um, did you? I I passed eventually, but I didn't pass the same year you were my tutor. But yeah, I, I remember some things you did teach me. This guy's a genius when it comes to math. Yeah, that's how I got my name Sensei. It's true. This is how the nickname came to be. I jokingly called him that because he was my teacher. And after a while, it just kind of stuck. And now even our friends call him that. So, yeah. just a thing. <laughs> it's because the, the way it works out is because it was just a nickname that she called me. But I think like just after high school, like once I got out of high school, I bought an Xbox 360 to play with her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when it came to making a gamer tag, I'm just like, you know, I'll go Cody Sensei. And, and now almost, and yeah, that's and, how the YouTube thing came to be. Yeah, and after, ever since then, anytime for a gamer tag or anything like that, I've used it as, like, my name. So it's become, like, a general nickname for me to, for anyone. And it's awesome. Okay, another question. What about girls that are more focused on their career? <laughs> oh my god, I hope you're So what now? Serious. How would you be, like, would you be able to deal with girls that are, like, really into their career? Like, let's say they're teaching or they're a business lady or they're, like, a fashion designer and they're super focused on their career and they don't entirely have crazy amount of time for you. Would you be able to compromise or deal with that? Um, that's, again, going to be, like, one of those depends how long it's been the relationship kind of deal. Like, mm. like if it's not if what it, it's not that long in the relationship that she's already kind of like you know off doing her own thing and not spending too much time, that may be something. But at the mm -hmm. same time, if this is a girl that I really really like, it doesn't depend mm -hmm. how far away she is. I would still chase after her, you know. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so what about a girl that has loyalty strikes? What do you mean by that? As in a girl that has a tendency to not be loyal with her past relationships, but hasn't shown any sign of doing it with you yet. So she's... Would you be essentially, essentially, she's cheated in other relationships, is what you kind of Yes. Think. And you just started dating her, and you know about this. So, would you be paranoid, or would you question her a lot? I mean, if she hasn't, if she hasn't shown me anything to question her, I probably wouldn't. If it, if anything, I probably wouldn't even like you know ask or you know you know bring it up or anything. 
It's like as long as long as she's shown that she's faithful to me, she's not doing anything suspicious, I wouldn't say so. By the way, we got a photo from Jesse. Mm. And there you go. I like the outfit. <laughs> Another outfit I'm gonna have to buy you. Why do they keep asking her to put a shoe on her head? I guess I'll be seeing ya. <laughs> guess I'll be seeing ya. No, you won't. Pushes down the escalator. I still say that they, that's something they should have done, where... She's more- she's more- has that bitchy attitude, the, the le least heart you have, but then like the more heart you had whenever she says like hi or bye, she'd be more... You know, kind of- kind of like Sundere, where she's like, you know, like, oh, you know... She- she basically, at this point, loves you, but she doesn't want to really show it. Okay, so... On that point, do you like Sundari or Yandari? I'm pretty sure Sundari, because I don't want someone to, you know, kill, kill, hurt slash kill me or others just because they're crazy about me. Uh, but Tente, don't you like it when girls are psychotically crazy about you? Not really. Every guy wants that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why is there blood on these roses? <laughs> No way. Like, calling here asking for you. Tell them I'm busy. <laughs> okay, so uh how are you with like gift giving? Are you like super big on giving gifts when you're like really into the relationship or would you do it like automatically when you first start dating? Probably not automatic. It'd probably be like later in that I would probably be more into giving gifts and stuff like that. Um, do you like girls that are, like, really big on, like, you gotta remember everything, like, from, like, the first song we ever heard together to, like, where such and such got hit by a car or whatever? Or do you like girls that are just kind of, like, passe about those sort of things? I'm probably passe, just because, you know, I, I do my best to remember, to remember anything important, but at the same mm -hmm. time, I'm only human, you know? Mm-hmm. So, there's not much I can do about that. Okay. Do you like girls that are sexually aggressive or sexually docile? Um, what's the main difference between the two? Like, explain a little bit, please. Sexually aggressive as in they're like, they totally know what they're doing and they're experienced. Or do you want somebody that's probably either on the same level as you, or absolutely do not know what they're doing? Um... I guess that's kind of like the age thing. I would probably want someone that's kind of like me to where... Well, I mean, we we think about it. It doesn't depend on the age, because it could be... Well, a yeah, I know that, I know that, but at the same... It's one of those things where, as a, you grow as a relationship, you grow in that area as well, where no in the wit in your windows there, okay? Don't take that out of context. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. basically you learn from each other. You kinda learn what to do with each other, you know? So mm -hmm. you really want you you I would probably say someone that probably kinda like the same ex kinda has like the same experience level, you know? I wouldn't want someone that's completely clueless to where they wouldn't know at all what they're doing. But I wouldn't someone that's, you know, say, let's do this and this and this and this and this. And I'll be like, wait, what? what is that? What are you talking about? But I mean, like, when you're first starting to date them. When you first... Like, that's that is. Like, they even let you know, like, either I know how to do all these things and I, I love doing that sort of stuff. Or... Like, I'm on the same level as you, or I've never done it before. That's what I mean. Like, when you first start dating them and you're getting to know each other and that kind of comes up, would you be okay with that? Um, hmm. Again, I guess I gotta go with this, like, same experience level kind of thing. So would you be like intimidated by somebody like by a girl that was sexually aggressive more than you? If 
Probably. See, let, like she's the one that she's a big fan of oral. Of course, that kind of oral, though. <laughs>